Hey, how's it going? Um, so today I'm going to show you how to uh, uh, shorten KX80 forks for a moped. So here's my moped and I've got like, uh, these are either 1984 or 1985 uh, KX80 uh, dirt bike forks. And these have already been shortened once, but I'm kind of changing things around a little bit. Um, right now you can see I have like two inches or so uh, sticking out above the triple tree and uh, that's I had clip-ons on there previously and now I want to put handlebars on so you can see I I chopped the handlebar nubbins off of that thing but I'm gonna put these on there but in doing so I'm gonna want to shorten these another two inches or so, so they're flush. Um, so yeah, here we go. Okay, so I've got the fork tubes off the bike and uh, right now they're still full of fluid. There's the drainy guy down here um, that you can use if it's still on the bike, but I don't know, it's, if you're gonna take them off, I think it's easy just to pull the top and dump it out the top. So I'm gonna start up by doing that. Okay, I've got the the top part dismantled now. Uh, you can see what's in there. Uh, got that top cap that just unscrews, and then um, there's this little retainer washer thing, and you can see I lost one, so I had to make a new one. And then these, I don't think were originally in there. I believe those I I had to make. And then those are the springs. And so let's see. So you can see down here, I've already cut these. To make them shorter but uh, and that's why I think uh, the spacer uh, adds uh, I think I think I cut them down an inch or so but I also added like an inch of preload to kind of stiffen them up a little bit but so those are apart next up we're gonna pull these dust covers so now you can see that uh, we can see the seal and that little wiry deal in there, if you can see that. Uh, it's a retaining clip, so we'll pop that out uh, and continue from there. Okay, so I've got those clips out. Next, moving over to the bottom. And there's this Allen bolt here. You're going to need, you're pretty much going to have to use a uh, impact driver to get this out. Um, you'll see, once I get it out, you'll kind of see why, but, um, you won't be able to do it. You might be able to, but most likely not be able to do this with a normal socket wrench. Okay. I've got the bolt out and now that that's out, let's see, um, the insides, some more insides will come falling out. And then, um, this tube. So the only thing holding the tube in is that seal. So what you can do is, I'm gonna need two hands to do this, but you just yank on the tube and it'll pop the, pop the seal up. Here's one uh, fork tube fully disassembled. Um, and so, Here's the gist of how this works, or first let me touch on this. Um, the reason I said you have to use an impact driver, uh, so this piece right here, this fits into this tube, goes all the way through, comes out the other end, and this flange at the top keeps it from going through. Um, the Allen nut on the bottom goes through here, this is just a little spacer, and then this is threaded. Uh, if you're just trying to get it loose using a socket wrench, this thing is just going to spin and you're not going to be able to get it out. So the best thing to do is to pull on the tube so there's some tension on this um, and then use an impact driver to knock that out. Um, and that's how that's done. But so here's how to shorten them. Um, like I said, this one has, these have already been shortened a couple inches. By default, you're probably just going to have this one little spring down here. This is actually used to be part of this. So that's what you got to do uh, uh, to shorten them. 
So however many inches you want to shorten them, you cut it off this the big top spring, and then so that'll drop that'll that'll drop them down. But then if you lift up on the on the forks, they just slide freely. And to fix that, that that piece that you cut out, you just move it over to the bottom. So um, it's shorter, and uh, yeah, then that's it. Put it back together, and you're done. Um, one thing you might want to do, I mangled these, taking I mangled the seal on this one, taking it apart, but that's okay. I was planning on replace, replacing them. I think these are only like 20 bucks or something, and if you're going to go through the work of tearing this all apart, you might as well uh, replace your seals. So that's it, um, and there's other things to do, you can do if you want to... Uh, uh, stiffen them up a little bit. Like I said, I put a spacer right here to add some preload to that top spring So it's a little stiffer you, If you can get your hands on some thicker springs that are the right length, you could try that, but um, This is probably the easier way to do that um, Yeah, and that's it. So just put it back together in reverse order and you're good to go. So um, I'm gonna take another two inches off this so I'm just gonna snip here, move them over to here, and I'm done. But uh, Okay, springs are cut and ready to go back together, so you can see. Um, I chopped off this end and moved it over here. So that's it. It should drop it this much. Uh, one thing uh, I missed when taking these apart, uh, these two guys sit underneath the seal. They didn't pop out on the first one. Uh, but they did on the second one, so I don't know nothing special about that. Just there's more parts <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna throw it all back together now